Hey everyone, it's Mari. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel today. I have a fun project here today using one of the Craftbox UK Craftbox products. And this is the box from November that Craftbox sent to me. I have an unboxing video on my YouTube channel that I'm going to link up in the description box below showing you all of the gorgeous products that are in this craft box. This is the little box here. And let me just tell you, it is a box of amazingly gorgeous little goodies. Now, every month they release a brand new box and you can subscribe to these little kits. I'm um, just showing you here one of the kind of the um, signature cards here from the kit to show you sort of like the theme for this box. And this November kit, the theme was obviously a very wintry theme, as you can see here. And I just absolutely love everything about it. So once again, you can subscribe to the box. You can purchase the box monthly. Every month a new box is released and they, like I said, they are absolutely just beautiful. So I wanted to create this little canvas scene here. So I just took a little canvas. You can pick up these canvases very, very inexpensively at Michael's or your local art shop. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking one of the six by six papers from the, from the uh, craft box and I'm going to adhere it down to my canvas using some uh, matte medium. You can use whatever matte gel you have in your, in your stash. Um, I'm using some Vicky Booten gel here, but just use whatever you have. And I'm adhering this down by putting that gel onto the canvas and then also onto the paper just so that it's on both uh, surfaces and it'll adhere down really nicely there. I'm even just putting a little bit over top of it just to seal it up nicely. I'm just going to press down the edges a little bit and I am going to just tear off that one side here on the right and you'll see that when that's all torn off. So I'm just going to finish adhering this down so that it's nice and smooth and I'm happy with that surface. Now you can see I just tore it off just to distress it on that one edge a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little stencil that comes in the, in the craft box. So like I said before, make sure you check out the unboxing link in the description box and you can see all of the things that come in the kit, <clears throat> including this stencil, which is really adorable. I love it. And it's all these little snowflakes and stars. And I'm just taking some modeling paste here uh, from my stash and I'm just going to put that onto the background here just to add some texture onto my little canvas. Now I'm going to take some of these little um, wood pieces here. This is snip art and these are just gorgeous and so much fun to work with. And I'm just going to choose the snowflakes off of this, uh, this little square of die cut wood pieces. And I'm going to use just those snowflakes there. I'm going to kind of move them around onto my canvas. And then I'm also going to use this gorgeous Let It Snow snip art as well. And once again, that's a wood veneer piece and it's just beautiful. And I love how it just kind of helps create the little scene that I'm going for here. Now I'm going to just glue those pieces down with a little bit of glue. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking some heavy body gesso and I'm just dry brushing that gesso over the, the snowflakes, um, the wood veneer snowflakes and over that wood veneer, let it snow as well, just to add a little bit of white to those wood pieces. And that's just going to add just like, it's just going to kind of make them pop off the page a little bit. It's going to add sort of like a little highlight to the little areas where the snowflakes are. I just want this to be just a really beautiful wintry scene. Now I'm just taking a little bit of mist from my stash. This is a shimmers mist, but you could use whatever you have. Um, and in this case, it's, I think this one's called deep blue sea, but I really like how it's really shimmery and shiny. And I'm just taking a, a an old brush from my stash here, and I'm just going to smooth that out and, and just kind of stipple that around. I'm going to do a few splatters here as well, and just get some of that dark blue on here onto my background. It's really shimmery and pretty. And I just want sort of like this, you know, night, um, sort of a wintry night scene. And I love how that six by six pattern paper really did most of the work for me because it's got that, that mansion or that manor in the background. And then there's all kinds of other little bits and pieces to that little, um, that pattern paper that really creates a scene for me. Now I'm taking some of these really awesome other little acrylic pieces here. Um, I think these are called the crystal snowflakes. And then there's some other little bits here that were also part of the box. 
and I'm going to put them down. I'm going to stick those down with a little bit of my uh, liquid adhesive and get those stuck. These are kind of like little gems and uh, they're just so pretty and sparkly and shiny. And I just really wanted to use a little bit of silver accents here and there on this um, little project. Now I'm just taking my modeling paste again and my palette knife and I'm just adding that all around the edge of my canvas just to make it almost look like there's just like snow stuck to the edge of it. It's almost like looking through a window and you see all of the sort of like the snow that's built up on the edge of the window pane and I really love how that looks and this modeling paste dries really really super fast this whole project I think only took me um, maybe about maybe about an hour by the time everything was dry and I was waiting for things to dry as I was working through it. So I just really love how it turns out. And you're going to see the finished product here right away once I'm finished applying all of that modeling paste. This modeling paste is a lot of fun to put on here and it was super easy to do and it was really quick. Now there are some really gorgeous little silver snowflake charms in the kit as well in the craft box. And what I did was I just took a little bit of silver twine and I tied that onto the bottom of the little wood veneer let it snow and now I'm taking some shimmer sparkle spritz and I'm just spraying that onto the whole canvas just so that it's really sparkly and shimmery and shiny and I just really love how this project turned out guys it's so much fun this would be a really nice little gift just something that you can display in your home you can see here if you put this up on one of these little stands it's just really super cute and I love how this turned out please make sure you check out the link to Craftbox uh, UK in the in the description box below check out that link people People and head over there these uh, boxes go fast they are limited editions and you need to check them out they're absolutely gorgeous thank you so much for stopping by today and I hope to see you another time here on my channel um, if you like this video please make sure that you click the like button and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet I'd love to have you as a subby on my channel bye bye